config and talk about what's in here. So for Solana, there's not that as much to config. The gas price is here. You can up it. By default, our gas price is slightly higher than what Bonk is paying just so that you can beat them in terms of transaction speed. Uh, you can set your default slippage here. Uh, you can set custom buy buttons, which I have done. It's three sole, one, two. These are the default template. You can create a new button. You can edit these buttons, uh, which is super helpful. So if you ha don't yet have the buy buttons, because they're not on by default, they're on on ETH by default, but otherwise not on. If you want to add them, just go to config, hit buy buttons, hit default template, and you'll now have these buy buttons. This button was 0.01 soul, and then one soul, and then 0.25, and then that. So I just changed that to three because I didn't want to, you know, ape a gas fee. Um, but that is the custom buttons, super useful. Um, you can program them to whatever you, whatever you like. Um, obviously the premium button's still here, which will give you all the information on, on premium and that, uh, wallet balances and wallet select, I'll go through it. Like, I don't mind. There's not much in my wallets. Um, these are my, uh, EVM wallets, but then you switch to Solana wallets and you can see I have two Solana wallets. I haven't played with Solana too much, but you can select the two or I can select multi-wallet mode. Um, this is the multi-wallet select mode where I tell it which wallets I want to be using in multi-wallet. And then you go back to current wallet selection. You can see it hasn't changed. The multi-wallet select mode is just to tell it which ones you want to use when you use multi-wallet. And that is now using multi-wallet instead of the one wallet. And I will turn that back to this. For some reason, I've noticed that, that the check mark doesn't go away. That's something I've reported as a little glitch too in those wallets. Works the same way under EVM wallets. You can select a certain wallet or you can turn on multi-wallet, which I think I have all of them selected or all five. Come on. As you can see, Telegram sometimes decides that you click the button too often and it slows down for a second. Uh, there it goes. So all the buttons are there uh, and all the all five are selected because I am a premium user. I can do five multi-wallets at once. I'm going to turn that off because I don't want to actually buy something. And then uh, is the, is it, it's true, right? Is that that um, Fu is going to increase that to 10, correct? Yes. For premium. The, plan, the plan is is to increase it to, to 10 multi-wallets for premium users. Yes. Uh, you can, by holding 250 pro, you can increase your multi-wallet to one more and then 500 pro equals, um, two more, 750 equals three more for a total of five multi-wallets. If you don't want to pay the hundred a month for a premium, of course, again, that 750 because of the way the fee reduction works, 2,500 equals zero fees across every single chain. Again, there is no bot out there that allows you to get rid of your trading fees. Like I said. The 2,500 gets you zero trading fees, but what's it called? If you have a percentage of that 2,500, then you also uh, get a reduction. So if you have 1,250 pro, your trading fees are halved. If you have uh, 750, it's whatever percentage, right? So if you have half of the, the 2,500, it's halved. If you have a quarter, it's a quarter lower. It's, uh, it, it is a linear reduction. So uh, that's the config for Solana. If you switch your chain, you'll see the other chains here. And I can go to, I don't know, um, Pulse Chain. And the menus for most of these EVM chains are around the same. Buy buttons again, anti-rug I have on. It is more effective on ETH than any other chain just because of the speed of the chains. But anti-rug can still save you sometimes on other, uh, on other chains if the dev who's trying to rug you doesn't uh, boost their gas and whatnot. It can it can try and get you out, but it's never a guarantee. Um, gas price, default gas price delta, you can click that and increase it. Um, you know, you look at the gas price up here and then just think about what you want to add to the default to speed up your transactions. Uh, your gas limit. Sometimes some coins have a much higher uh, gas requirement. This isn't as much of a deal on Solana, but it is on other chains. Uh, like if they're, if they're like a reward coin, or if they're a, uh, a ref reflect coin, sometimes they have a much higher gas necessity. The thing is, we set a somewhat conservative gas limit across chains because there are also contracts that will try and drain you in gas fees. It's It exists. So if you try and buy a contract and it's going to charge you a wild amount in gas fees, we do try and stop that from happening. But it can also then get, be in conflict when you want to buy a reflect or a uh, other type of heavily actionable uh, tax system. Uh, when you move to your next point, can you please show me the copy trading option on Solana? I can't see it. Okay. Yeah. So bull vibes, the copy trading option is going to be the next thing launched on Solana. It's not there yet. 
Um, it is the next feature that gets launched on Solana, hopefully tonight sometime, like time zones. That was most things in here. Price impact. Oh, price impact is something across every chain that we try and limit. There was someone earlier who was trying to buy a coin and it had a greater than 15% price impact. Um, and the price impact, you can adjust what we will allow you to buy. Basically, it tries to stop you from buying liquidity pools that are very, very thin. And then you'll get just dumped on by a dev who's holding those coins because the liquidity pool, the, the price is going to jump more than 15% off of your buy. So it tries to warn you. You can change the price impact, right, to higher than what the default is. The default on I have on Pulse right now is 40%. Um, I think he was trying to buy one with above 40%, if I remember right, actually, earlier today. So that is to try and stop you from buying scams. Um, uh, anyway, so that's the chain config. You can go through all the different chains, whatever ones you need to work on, and, and change the default settings, although you can change them as soon as you paste in something. So I'm going to grab uh, a contract just to be able to uh, paste stuff, like to try and show uh, menus. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to use the Prodigy. Uh, the Prodigy contract. Okay, so let's go. This is something there's been a little confusion over as well. Uh, transfer is to transfer any native coin on those wallets. So if you have a native coin of the chain we support, that is what the transfer button does. And I'll click it just so you can see, and it'll pick a wallet. And if I pick, I know ACB has a little bit of um, menace on it, so I can do menace, right? So it'll give you the option for what chain and, 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 um, and native coins. I mean, transfer, obviously, if you select a Solana wallet, you're only going to be able to transfer a Solana out of it. Um, now, this is where people have gotten a little uh, confused. Send ERC-20. Every single token on the 17 other chains that we support is an ERC-20 token. ERC-20 just means, you know, based upon Ethereum code. All of those 17 chains are EVM chains, whether it's Metis or other ones. They might do different ways of securing their network or do processing their transactions, but they are based upon Ethereum code. So ERC-20 is a token across all those chains. So when you hit ERC-20, it'll only give you the ERC-20 wallets. You can select this, you can select which chain, and then you have to paste in a token contract. So if you know you have, let's say, PoopCoin, I don't know if that's a coin, and you just gotta go get the contract. If you know you have PoopCoin in that wallet and you wanna transfer it, go get the contract, paste it here, and it'll, then it'll ask you how much of that coin you want to send. That's simple, how to send ERC-20 tokens, whether it be any of these networks. The next thing is if you want to send a Solana token and you know it's in your wallet, in your monitors and whatnot, you can send SPL. That is the same thing as ERC-20, but on Solana. So you pick which wallet, and then you paste in a token that you want to send. Um, there was one other thing about this that I wanted to say, and I do not remember it at the moment, uh, but that is fine. Uh, great. Then wallet select, this is also so everyone understands, if you want to delete a wallet, go into delete mode, you can delete wallets. Careful deleting a wallet. If you didn't save your private key, we do not keep those. If you lose it, you lose it. Um, for security reasons, we do not keep the generated private key. Uh, and it also only shows up the one time when you generate your wallet. Uh, new wallet mode will allow you to make new wallets. This is all for EVM wallets. If you switch to Solana, you get the same options, new wallet mode, delete mode, wallets. Same thing, but this is only for Solana wallets. There'll be another button there eventually when we add Tron. If you go to new wallet mode, you can also import a wallet, generate a wallet. You can't import an EVM wallet under Solana. You can't import a Solana wallet under EVM. Some people have hit little roadblocks there. They're different networks. Their addresses are not the same. It's just the way they work. 